Hey, what's going on guys? Hope that one will be fine and welcome back to the part number three series. So in the very last video, you will see that we are able to add the contact and save the data and show that on our home screen. But we also need to delete the data. So first we have to create that API in Laravel and next we are going to configure it in our view. And you see here right after the contact number, we have to create another heading and display as an action and, and delete the results. So let's jump in and get started here. Make sure your Laravel server should be up and running and your view also. So I have my two already projects open up. The last you see here, we have created here the Save Contact API. Now in this video, we are gonna create an API which can delete the results, right? So let's copy that up here and paste it down and just to change that type of the request, which should be delete and make sure that it should be delete underscore contact and uh, also change that to be delete contact, all right? So because we are working with the API, we have to delete some specific results, a specific uh, data. So you see here on my database, or you could see the IDs where you see the 92, 93, 94, and also the generated IDs that we are gonna create from the add contact form. So you see here, the ID is basically the field that's where we can delete that specific row, all the data should be deleted. So we are gonna access that ID. So I'm gonna go back to it and define here slash and ID that we need to delete the results, right? So let's define that delete contact method right after the save contact. So I'm gonna write that one here. So public function and we have to simply delete that contact. And as you see here inside the API, we pass the ID. So we need to pass that ID right up here. And let's define here dollar contact equal to contact. We have to use here a method of find which can get the ID. And if that contact exists, we have to apply here a condition that if that exists, so simply delete that contact. All that we need is a delete method which help us to delete the record and we simply need to return the response in JSON. So let's define that right into it and we have to pass here two things, the message and the code. So the first that message that I need to show here, let's define the key and it should be contact deleted successfully and lastly we have the code which is 200 all right so that's the first case and on the other hand if that id doesn't exist means if that id doesn't exist inside the database and user tries to delete because we have to test it from the postman so we need to show that response as well so let's copy that up here and all i need is so just change that message uh the code should be just remove that code from for this time and we need to just simply show the message so contact with the id that i'm going to pass here so contact with id does not exist so you see here actually i need to change that to I need to change those into the double quotes because we are passing the dynamic results. So let's make that into double quotes. So now the contact with ID does not exist. So also pass here ID colon, right? So now if I go back to the postman and let's uh, grab this URL from here or I, either I can change that to delete request and change that to delete underscore contact so it should be delete underscore contact and, and, and let's pass some ID which do, doesn't exist. And if I pass something here and you see the contact with ID does not exist. Now the IDs which exist in my case, if I go back to my, which is 94, let's delete that data. So all I need is just simply pass here the ID of 94. And if I just send the request and you see the contact deleted successfully and if I go back and refresh this and you see now it's deleted successfully from here, right? So how you see now we have done our API and how easier it is to delete with the help of that Laravel API. So in the next section, I'm going to cover up and delete the action button here, create the action button and delete the result 
in our view. So let's jump in and get in the next section. All right, guys, so let's first define here the action button to delete the specific result from the row. So I need to go to my view project and I'm gonna go and open up the contact list dot view and uh, let's copy that up and change that to action. So I'm gonna remove this one and let's pass here the action here, right down underneath that. I need to copy it up and right underneath that, I need to define here the button for my specific delete button. So let's define here button and right inside here, let's define here alert, alert dash danger. And I need to create here, um, let's wrap this inside here. So BTN dash SM for small and uh, that's all I need. So let's create here a delete button for here and just check this out how it looks. So it looks something like that. Um, you can change that to, uh, actually I need to change that to BTN, BTN, that's danger, right? So now if I go back here and that, there we are. Okay, so I need to delete that and I need to define here an action, which is basically the click. So let's define it at the rate click, uh, the click event and uh, we have to prevent it until it's clicked. So let's define the name of delete contact. And I also need to pass here the ID as well. So contact.id, right? And right, copy this up, delete contact, go inside your methods and right after the first method, define another method of delete contact and it should be an async method. So I'm gonna create that one and right inside here pass the id and if i just simply just to check this out if i just pass and alert the id from here and click any one of it and you see it's 93 and if i choose the first one the id is so all the ids are actually coming fine now i need to delete that result so for this case all i need is just first grab this url so let url equal to and grab it from your postman and pass it, pass it right up here. And because the IDs that we are passing up here is coming dynamically, so I need to change that to be dollar ID, right? So next to it, I'm gonna pass here a wait, and let's pass here axios.get and uh, pass here the URL dot then response. Let's check this out if the response code, so if response dot data dot code is equal to 200, all I need is just simply show the response, so response dot message of success. All right, so one more thing that I need to do, once it successfully submits, I need to call the method of this dot cat contact, otherwise I need to refresh this, right? So that's the uh, first case of it. Um, next is the uh, catch method that, that I need to define. So dot catch error. So simply console dot log and show the error, right? So that's all good. And uh, I believe let's let's test this out, right? And now if I go back, we are actually getting some error as well. We say is the ID is not defined. Wrap this in, in, the, in the back text, right? So let's also wrap this one and now it works fine, I hope. Yeah. All right, so let's check this out and test this out that everything works well. Now if I just try to result, delete that result, delete this message. And we are actually getting some errors. Let me inspect this out. Console. Yeah, it says that the method the server responded respond with the status. So this should be this dot axios dot delete method. And that should be the issue, right? Whenever we are getting four or five, and that is probably gonna be the issue. Now, if I just try to del delete it, it's gonna click okay. We are actually getting deleting the data, but the code is not that one we needed. So I need to change that to response dot data dot message. Yeah, well, that's how we can access through it. So if I just try to delete that data and you see the contact deleted successfully and everything works well. So you see how elegant it is and how easier it is that we have done 
and deleted the result from the database. So in the next part of the video, we are going to update the result. So that's it, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I want to see you for the next time.